What's good, world? What's good, people? You already know who it is. DC's best street poet, Tragic T R A G Y K. And you're now tapped into what's the motivation? Get in without a fight. Well, you already know who it is, man. It, I go by the name of Tragic, T-R-A-G-Y-K. You know what I mean? First of all, I stand for talented, righteous, ambitious genius of a young king. Um, I come from Washington, D.C., Uptown, which is better known as Northwest D.C. And what about me, man? I'm just a, like, cool, educated, street knowledge person that, that you know, that just motivate others around him and just, you know, try to try to elevate everything around him as whatever I do, artistry, life, you know, relationships, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to elevate everything that's around me, man. So I'm better known as mo inspiration, motivation, determination. That's who I am. Uh, shoot, man. First time I fell in love with music, I would have to say, shoot, man, like, as far as the story's been told, you know, out of my mother's womb, my mother, she used to, like, you know, go to parties and be, like, the party starter when I was in her, when I was in her stomach, you know what I'm saying, even beforehand, but, like, they would go get my mother, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, Marguerite Taylor, you know what I'm saying, um, they would go get, like, if the party doll or it's not popping, I'm like, yeah, go get Marguerite, go get Mickey, and then as soon as she hit the party, like, with me in her stomach, she jamming, getting everybody popping. So I would say she was straight out the womb, you know. And, you know, the first, like, music I fell in love with, it had to be Odie but goodies, you know what I'm saying? Because my mother influenced me. As she used to play all the records, Al Green, Temptations, you know, Asley Brothers. I mean, you know, Jackie Wilson. I mean, we could keep going for days. James Brown, I mean, we could keep going with Chuck Brown. You know, we can keep going for days, but, like, Definitely would be Odie but goodies, you know, that's where I get my roots from, you know, that's where I get my inspiration from. Um, shoot, that's where I get my craft and my, you know, songwriting, because they was definitely uh, profound back then, you know, telling a story. And I feel like, you know, that music really, like, motivated me to better be a better storyteller as now today of doing my craft and my music as well. So I would say Odie but goodies. Tragic actually was, wasn't my first stage name. My first stage name was Baby Drake. Because I've been doing rap and music and being an artist, man, I've been shooting ever since like the fifth or sixth grade, you know. So, I mean, at, at the time I was just a little kid. So I went with my name and, you know, Baby or whatever. But Baby, well, she was Baby Drake. But Tragic, um, I laid it on in my career and later on in my craft, I've probably been like maybe like 12, maybe like 14, where I was like, man, I'm about to change my name. I can't be a baby forever. So I went to the point where I was like, uh, what, name could, I'm a, I'm, what name could I come up? So I said, whatever the letters end up on in the dictionary, that's where I'm gonna pick my name from. It so happened to land on the T. I read all the way down the Webster Dictionary I looked at, you know, tragedy and all these other things. Tragic, it just stood out. It said uh, chaos and, you know, mayhem and, you know, and that's definitely what I was trying to bring to the, to, to the mic, you know what I'm saying, at the time. Like, you know, y'all, you can't rock with me. I'm bringing mayhem and chaos on this mic, you know what I'm saying, so, as an MC. So, um, Later on, you know, my mother, you know, again, because that was like my best friend, so I talked to her about everything. So later on, she uh, she was like, yeah, what's your, what's your rap name? I was like, Tragic. So she was like, Tragic? What would it mean? And so I was like, you know, I looked in the dictionary, say mayhem, chaos, all this old, you know, negative um, vibe. And so she was like, well, I mean, that's cool, but... Why you can't turn a negative into a positive? And so that really rung in my head for like a long time. I was using tragic, the regular spelling, T-R-A-G-I-C for a long time. <clears throat> then I seen, you know, people start perping like some little graffiti artists and different little 
things I seen on the web was like perping my name and everything. So I, it, it really took me for a loop. Like I thought about what my mother said. And so I was like, man, I gotta turn a negative into a positive. So I wound up, you know, switching up the uh, lettering. I said, all right, cool, I'm gonna switch up the lettering. So I said, man, everybody use an I, but nobody use a Y. You know what I'm saying? So I said, why? And so at the end, is C is a normal spelling. C, I was like, well, shoot, man, everybody talk Ebonics, everybody, you know, change around letters. Let me put the K right there. So when I looked at it, when I drew it and I, I drew my name and I looked at it, I was like, oh, that thing look just sweet. You know what I'm saying? That thing look hidden. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sice out here for this joke. So after that, I brought it to my mother again. She was like, oh, okay, yeah, I like how it's spelled, but what it mean? And I was like, come on, ma, you're killing me, ma. So after that, I was like, all right, what's the meaning? And you know what I'm saying? So it took me a couple months, but when I started realizing who I was as a person, the name, you know, the syllables started to come together. So that's what I came with. Tragic, T-R-A-G-Y-K, and it stands for talented, righteous, ambitious genius of a young king. And once I said that to her, she just she just lit up like a Christmas tree. So I was like, I gotta sell it. So that's why I basically got, my mother was really the motivation of my name, I must say.